Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and in this video, I am going to tell you and show you the things I got for my birthday. Um, August 18th was my birthday, and I had started training for in teacher in services on that day. And so um, I didn't get to spend the day with my family, but I was with my friends from school, and it was really great. And then when I got home, I had a big surprise waiting for me. So I'll show you um, what I got. Um, the first thing that I got that is non-crochet related is some really great perfume. It's Princess by Vera Wang. I love this perfume. It used to be super expensive. Like, um, you would get it at Yonkers in Sturgeon Bay. That was like our department store. <laughs> and it was like 50 or $60 for this bottle, but on Amazon it was only like 20 something. So it's kind of like a florally citrus smell. Like a pink, like a pink grapefruit smell with flowers, like a pinky, flowery, fruity smell. Yeah. Um, something else I got that I really love is this cup. It's an Elo. I don't know if that's a special brand or not, but Han got this for me. I'm currently drinking Starbucks blonde coffee in it. No creamer, anything like that. But it's really nice because it keeps it cold. You can use a straw or it has one of these kind of things that you could sip out of. Yeah, so that's what I got from Han. Oh, the perfume was from Brandon. Um, the last non-crochet related item is Han got me these earrings. There they are, so fancy. Um, I tell a lie, one more non-crochet related thing I have I can't show you, but I'll put a link in the description below if any of these items you can get off of Amazon. Um, and that is a cold brew um, for coffee. So it's like this really big glass mason jar with a handle. And then it has this filter that sets in it. And you put your coffee grinds in there, in the filter part. And it sets down in the water. You fill it up with water. And I put it in the fridge. And then overnight, it makes me coffee. <laughs> and the reason I drink cold brew is because I've been doing this intermittent fasting and you can drink black coffee in the morning, but I don't like don't like hot black coffee. I do better if it's iced. And so I've been drinking iced black coffee. Well, Starbucks blonde coffee, which is just a lighter, lighter coffee for you non-coffee people. So I got that ice thing, but I can make a I can put a link in the description to the cold brew thing that my honey got me from. Amazon for coffee. Now, here are the few crochet related items I got. Um, first is this Whimsical Stitches book. This is, of course was ordered from Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was, but I will put a link to this book from Amazon in the price near it. And this really, cool, it's just like a little amigurumi. My family loves it when I make them amigurumis. And this book is divided up in chapters by the type of thingy you will make. Um, the beginning teaches you a few stitches and techniques you'll need, and it ha does have these photos to go with. Oh, the cards that my kids made are com coming out of the bottom. And then it divides it up, uh, tells you some techniques you'll need for at making the features, because making the mouths and the eyelashes. And then it divides it up by <clears throat> type. So here are the little plants that you can make. You can make a daisy, a cactus, a tulip, a sunflower, succulents. So that is one chapter. And then I wish I had these pre-marked y'all, but you know that's not how I roll. I just sit here and wing it in front of you guys. And then you can make stuff, whoops, aquatics. So there's these little turtles, um, a jellyfish, and this is a type of jellyfish I have never seen, or an octopus. Then they have these jellyfish and a narwhal slash whale, because all you do is add a horn to that. That's right in the crease. I don't really like that. The turtle looks really interesting. I'm pretty excited to try the turtle, um, but I'm not gonna do it in boring turtle colors. I'm gonna do it in colors. <laughs> I'm gonna do it in colorful turtle trying to find the next page for y'all to show you the next chapter um, legs and body and head okay the next section is down on the farm you can make a duck some eggs a bunny a cow and a pig 
I wish I would have had this a while ago because you remember Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter, and um, Karen from Happiness Homemade? They had that crochet something from your state, and I kind of did like a, a cow. She's up there. You can sort of see her right there. Um, they have an udders pattern on here, and I had to make up my udders. Um, also, what you guys can't see, I made myself a pig. He's way up at the top. Brandon challenged me. And I'm going to be honest, my pig very much looks like this pig. Okay, so the next chapter in here is, oh, that's the egg pattern, which is easy, I'm sure. Next is at the bakery, and it has coffees and pies and donuts and macaroons and cupcakes and all kinds of treats there. Um, I did make one of these, so I'll talk about that later. Um, you know, I might as well just talk about it now. Um... I made the coffee cup here it is I did not put my face in the right place as you can see and the type of yarn I used um, I had to use two different types of yarn because I didn't believe it or not out of all this yarn I didn't have two of the same kind so this yarn the coffee cup the cup is made out of is Kobu cotton in the pink and then the coffee is made out of um, cotton, but it's made out of the, the Walmart peaches and cream or whatever they call, and it's the brown. And then I put my eyes on there and a little smile and little eyelashes, and that's my little coffee cup. But you see, I should have moved everything just a little bit over like here and here. So there you go. I made the coffee. The patterns are very easy to read in this book. Um, I am looking next at making some macaroons and maybe the bunny. Okay, let's flip ahead to the next chapter. I've made a donut before. Remember that donut mouse I made for my nieces? Next section is at the market where you can make a bunch of fruits and vegetables. This might be really fun if you work at a preschool or a daycare. That might be really fun to have a bunch of these fruits and vegetables for the babies. Um, you'll obviously have to wash them after they chew on them. And the safety eyes, they're pretty safe, I'm going to be honest. Um, my kids play with all these amigurumis I make, and none of their eyes ever pop out. So that is this book, Whimsical Stitches. Um, I actually made a pattern out of it. It was very simple to read. This probably took me 45 minutes because I made it during an episode I was watching on TV. Okay, so that's the first book. The next that my husband got me, or my my kids got me was Amigurumi Treasures. Look at those little dolls. Aren't they adorable? Now, all of these patterns in this book call for fingering weight yarn, but I'm going to try one, which I haven't yet, but I've chosen the one I'm going to make. I'm going to make this Sleepy Sloth, because as you remember, I was making those sloths by the Friendly Red Fox, and everybody in the world wanted one, so I thought I would make this cute Sleepy Sloth um, since I was on a sloth kick and just see how it goes and oh, guys, This is the card that um, Let's see which one of my kids made this card um, This is from Jaren. It says happy b-day mom. Love you dear mom. I I Love you. No, I hope you have a great day. Sorry. This isn't neat <laughs> But it's only so much you can write with crayon See, it's like so hard to read. That's what he said. Love you. That's it. Yeah. I hope you have a great day. Sorry this isn't neat. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to make as a sleepy sloth. Um, like I said, I was a little put off because it wanted fingering yarn. But I'm going to make it with the kobu. Um, I haven't decided exactly what colors I'm going to do. Because out of my kobu, if you remember, I was hoarding it up. I don't have anything that, like, tannish color. I do have a purple, and I do have like a pinky color. Um, I have a white, so we'll see. So this is the other book. Again, I'll put a link in the description and the price that this book cost down below. Um, on the back, it says $18.95, so we'll see how close that is on Amazon if you got a deal. The third crochet book that I got was called Crochet Masterclass. Now this book is very, 
fancy and complicated. This is showing you how to do like the complicated crochet stitches, how to do a woven stitch, or let's see the next one, how to do hairpin lace. Now I actually have one of these doohickeys. Someone, one of my knitting buddies that I used to go to knitting club, she gave me one of those. So I do have one of those. It's like a, looks like a trellis or a ladder. You need that for hairpin lace. Um, doing a feather and fan cardi wrap. Again, that's hairpin lace. Um, let's see, tapestry crochet. Oh, there's someone that features that for us. Um, more tapestry. Erin crochet. I've never heard of that. She's making sweaters and vests. And it has somebody featured on each type of crochet. Someone who's like a master of this. So for instance, in, for, in, for instance right here, interlac inter crochet or interlock crochet. This here is featured by Joyce Wyatt. And she talks about how she mastered this technique. And then she's got a few patterns for the interlock crochet. So it's really kind of nice that they have um, all this in here. Fashion crochet by Margaret. Tunisian crochet. Filet crochet. And this is a man, Hartmut Haas. He's from Germany. There's his name, if you can read German. Hartmut? I don't know. I don't, I don't know any kind of German. I can't even pretend to. Double-ended crochet. Looks like that's from Darla. Uh, um, making tassels. This gal, I didn't check her name before I turned it around. Nancy, she will show you a bunch of stuff that you can make and add tassels to. The Bullion Stitch by Bonnie. Um, and she has a few things that she showed you, a hat, a blanket, and some kind of like a butterfly thing. Overlay Crochet by Melody. There she is, there's some of her overlay stuff. Um, do do do. I have Burgie's crochet, crochet. I don't even know how to say it. There's some of the things that she's going to teach you about. That's from Tatiana. That's a very fancy name, Tatiana. Painted crochet, and this is by Ferosa. I don't know. And if you can see in there, it looks like it's made like an off-white cream that kind of has been painted yellow. Here's the card that I got from Flynn. It fell out of this book. So this book must be given to me by Flynn. It says, I love you, Mom. Have a good day. No. Okay, I'm so sorry. He wrote it on two separate pages. It was very confusing. I love you, Mom. I wish you a good day. And then he drew me, he drew me a smiley face, and then he crossed it out, and then he drew another smiley face. All right. And what's the last thing in this beautiful book? That's Prudence Freeform Crochet. There's Prudence. I wonder if they call her Prue. And there's some of her freeform crochet. Now, I've seen somebody do a video about that where she crocheted all these different shapes, triangles, squares, circles, and she sewed them all together and fit them together, and it was really amazing. Okay. So that is this book right here. All right, so that is, that's what I got for my birthday. Um, it was a great day. When, then when I came home, like I said, we had these surprises. We went out to eat. Did we? Yes, I believe we did. And then we went to the park. We have this park in our town called Mononymy Park. And part of it has like a little tiny amusement park, really tiny when I say it has a train ride and one little kitty ride. And um, then it also has a zoo, but it's a very, very tiny zoo, a circle zoo, but it has some kind of fun animals. So we walked around that. It has like otters and moose and monkeys and llamas and 
parrot and fox, you know, some random. It's free though. So that is my birthday video. Yeah. Um, I Like I said, I've only had a chance to do one pattern and that is the coffee cup. Kawaii. Now I will tell you, I did put a piece of paper down here at the bottom so it'd be more, more um, flat. All right. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.